spring in uh, Washington, just outside of Washington, D.C. Uh, my dad was uh, working with transmitters and receivers for satellites. And uh, I, I get that it's a challenge because of the heat and cold that they have to and vibrations and everything that goes into shooting off the satellite. So they had hired him to come out there and run their uh, manufacturing uh, room. And so he did that. We were there two years. The second year, uh, we, I remember we were all out. I was like seven years old, I think, maybe six. So Danny would be seven or eight. He was one year over me. So um, we're out in the driveway at like 10 p.m. at night. We got the whole family out there. Dad's like pointing at these two star, stars up in the sky. We're in Quincy, Illinois, which at that time was a very small town. And we were outside of town, out in the orchard area and, and cornfields and stuff. And uh, so we're, it's really dark, and it's these two stars that were prominent. He said, okay, get those now. Uh, and, and he starts counting it down. And there's this other star that's going to come right between those two stars, and that's Sputnik 1, and we lost the space race. <laughs> <laughs> and so we were little kids, and we I do remember seeing it look just like a star, but it was yeah. a satellite coming between the stars. Of course, the stars were way further out in the heavens, but it looked like the same size when you were looking at it from the ground. And he knew exactly what time and where it would be, and that really impressed me and, and Danny. Also remember that uh, on J July 4th, we ran so many times around the backyard that we wore a complete muddy path in the lawn. Oh. <laughs> uh, running sprinklers around. We Not sprinklers, sparklers. 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 Yeah. Don't talk to me about that. So then we come back to yeah. Sparklers. <laughs> <laughs> back to Silver Spring. Uh, and we're a little bit older. We joined the Boys Club, which is just a couple blocks from the uh, right off now Washington Beltway, which wasn't there at the time. But um, we had a tumbling team. So there was a guy that we taught tumbling, forward roll, backward roll, handsprings, head springs, cartwheels, whatever. And uh, so we did this, um, we did a couple. What we would do is we'd go places like Walter Reed Hospital and perform for the patients there and stuff. And uh, we do the, uh, what we call the, we, we had three guys and we'd just do this thing where we'd cross back over. We'd hit our stomachs and roll and then get back up and do it again the other direction. And that was kind of fun. And then we'd lay down people one after another on a mat and and the other guys would do diving rolls and then they would lay down and another guy would lay down and then so then we got like 12 guys laying down and somebody's going to hit that last guy there's no doubt about it and and they just loved it the patients there just were probably laying bets and stuff and they, we had a great time and uh, and i remember that the um Willard Scott, who got, became famous on the New York uh, television, and he was Bozo the Clown in, in Washington, D.C. Yeah. on Channel 5, and we went to his show and performed as well. And that was, that was the, pe was that the peanut shuffle that you did? I'm sorry? The peanut shuffle? The peanut, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah.